So we have to find the limit as x approaches infinity. The answer here is going to be 0 because the degree in the denominator is 10, the degree in the numerator is 9, and whenever you're approaching infinity, uh, whenever the degree is bigger on the bottom, you're going to get 0. Why? Uh, the denominator is growing at a faster rate than the numerator. So as x gets really, 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 really big, this gets really, really close to 0. So let's actually show the work. Let's go through it once and show the work. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity. And so what you can do is divide everything by x to the 10th. So you'll have x to the 9th minus 1 over x to the 10th. And then here you have x to the 10th. And on the bottom, you have the same thing. You have x to the 10th over x to the 10th plus 4 over x to the 10th. You might say, well, why can you do that? What we really did was we took x to the 9th minus 1 over x to the 10th plus 4. And one way to think about it is we multiplied by 1 over x to the 10th over 1 over x to the 10th. And then when you distribute, you get what we have over here. All right, let's keep going. This is the limit. As x approaches infinity, here you're going to get 1 over x. And then this will be minus 1 over x to the 10th. In the denominator, you get 1 plus 4 over x to the 10th. At this point, it's clear. Uh, in the numerator, you get 0 minus 0. In the denominator, you get 1 plus 0. So you get 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. And again, the trick is this. If the degree is bigger on the bottom and you're approaching infinity or negative infinity, the answer is always 0.